So now we've reached the third and final monolith of this YouTube video. So this is to fire Araxium and this is going to be at the Mirage monolith. You should be a recommended level of around 30 and again have two players minimum. You can do this by yourself. It's a bit of a bitch. <laughs> and it wasn't too much of a pattern, just a lot of dodging, a lot of spiders, a lot of fog. So just be made aware of that. Again, adrenalines and health kits are really good for this. So make sure to bring your activators, the slow and the fast ones. Let's get into it. Let's have a little look at the video. So you do spawn in at a hospital. So you just go left, take the stairs and you'll quickly see where you need to go. You'll hear doors slam and it'll be this big old red door. <laughs> so just walk up to that and the cutscene will happen. So straight off the bat, this thing is aggressive and terrifying and big and I hate it. <laughs> this thing is going to spew webs at you, it's going to spew webs around you, it's going to spawn spiders, it's going to spawn egg sacs, you name it, it's going to happen. Instantly going to spit webs at you and then charge at you, so duck, dive and dodge this bit. Ultimately, your goal is one, not to die, but two, to shoot it and shoot in the butt where it really hurts. This thing is going to charge at you and try to spit webs at you. It does have a spit web attack as well, where if you actually get hit by it directly, it will drag you straight into its arms and it will give you a slap and you'll go onto the floor for a second. That purple haze it just spat out is poisonous gas, so make sure to stay out of the area for that one. Sometimes you can miss them lunge attacks, sometimes you're just unlucky. Hopefully you're more lucky than not. So it's all about like dodging, diving, shooting, avoiding the webs, which sometimes you just can't help because you'll walk straight into one. Just have to wiggle a little bit. Do be cautious as well because all this time as well, this spider can be dropping eggs and or its little cronies, its little spider babies will just appear out of nowhere and bite your ankles. So just be careful. So the fun that is the fog. Now it makes it obviously very hard to see unless you're close up and you can still shoot, they aren't immune at this point. However, keep your ears open and your eyes wide because it will let you know some telltale signs of when it's about to attack and you'll be able to hear for them sound bites. Again, during this time, she may be dropping eggs. So if you run around and you notice some eggs or these red hues on the floor, or on the walls, they usually spawn in the same location each time. So make sure you go and shoot them and destroy them because it's gonna keep spawning out baby spiders that are gonna bite your ankles and that's not fun. So here you can see one of the egg sacs is sitting there just mind his own business. So let's go and shoot it to stop any enemies coming out. Like I said, sometimes it's just pure dumb luck where you've rolled yourself into one of the spider webs and she sucker punched you in just to give you a slap on the ass. So it does happen from time to time, just keep persevering. What I find very funny and also very painful about this arena is that there is just one sharp load of rocks there that she does sit on from time to time by the way when the fog comes up but if she sits on that you can't hide anywhere and if she doesn't sit on it and you go onto it and you try to hide behind it she can spawn through it so it's not very fair this is a very open arena so you do need to have your wits about you and you need to have your hand on that dodge button a lot do recommend in the fog sections of this fight that you just do not stop moving because that spider is consistently going and spewing webs and dropping eggs and all this kind of stuff she's not stopping so you can't stop 
Now again I do recommend bringing a high powered sniper rifle because as you can see here I can just about see a red hue on the wall indicating that that is an egg sac. She normally spawns about 4 egg sacs that are outside of the arena that you need to shoot down because again these are going to spawn out enemies and they're gonna hurt. Now a little break in the fight is once you've killed all four of them egg sacs you'll see that she runs and jumps up onto that singular spy. Yep she's still spewing stuff at you really rude I know. But if you kill all them egg sacs and then start shooting her she actually has a little shield on her. If you shoot her shield in time she'll actually fall on her back exposing herself a little bit so at that point you can throw grenades, fire at her, shoot her a lot as much as you can. Um, that's a really good time to really strike some damage onto the spider. Sometimes if you're super sneaky, you'll notice that your aim icon as well will go red whenever you're hovering over an enemy, such as the spider. So even in the fog, sometimes the game does give that away. Is that a bug? Is that a hack? I don't know. It's in the game and it can save you at this point as well, especially in that thick fog where you can't see her. So I don't know. Comment, what do you think? Is that a bit of a cheat? I feel like it's a bit of a cheat. So at this point I think it's fair to say there is somewhat of a pattern here. Fog goes on and out, egg sacs are in the same places where she spawns them, she jumps up onto her tower, you shoot her down, that kind of thing. So the pattern is just that, just rinse, lever, repeat and just to avoid her chaos as much as humanly possible. Which we were once human, we're not anymore, so is it even possible? So very soon we'll see the evil queen spider there jump up back onto her spire. Fog kicks in and again it's the same thing like I mentioned that bit of a pattern there. We have to go and kill her eggs. It's kind of cruel if you really think about it. Again just having an awareness of your surroundings as to where you are versus where their usual spawn points are. As you can see the eggs always spawn outside the arena at the exact same locations. So kind of hovering around there when you suspect she's about to fog out. I'll call it fog out for now is probably a really good shout. Whilst we're going through the motions, I thought I would just test out a quick click here or pressing Q. As you can see, it just makes things infinitely worse. So don't do that. <laughs> So lucky for me I managed to get her and shoot her shield down so she's on her back so here again I can just show you just throwing as much fire at her as I can that's what you normally do at a spider right? Right? So, whilst we're waiting for me to slowly but surely kill this as I'm in editing mode, what are the other things that you're hoping to see in Once Human? Are you looking forward to the fourth monolith, maybe? Any questions, comments, feel free to put them in the comment section of this video and I'll be sure to answer. So we are so, so very nearly done. And here you can see I'm just putting in the last few bullets inside the poor spider and it slowly but surely starts to die. Great news for us. 
So again, do not forget that once you've killed it and it says victory on the big yellow banner in the middle of your screen, just make sure that you do pick up any deviants that might be floating around. She absolutely does leave a deviant for you. It actually makes you some items and resources for things. Um, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me recently. Um, if there's anything I can do to help you guys out, let me know. Let me know in the comments as well if you want to watch any other videos from me, other content, and I'll be happy to talk about it. Don't forget I stream on don't forget I stream on YouTube on Tuesdays and on Wednesdays and Fridays I stream on Twitch. So hopefully I'll see you on any of them and take care everybody. Have a great one.